June Bromhill is an internationally famous musical star. Her songs have delighted audiences worldwide. Her stage presence, a rare gift. But June Bronhill has a secret. Her career has been guided over the past 20 years by a friend, an Italian opera singer who died more than three decades ago. If ever I need any, 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 any help to give me just that little bit of extra energy that I need, I just say, please, Lita, please. She's there. A scratchy 78. But soaring above the imperfections of the recording is a glorious voice from the past. The voice of Amelita Gallicurci. Amelita was one of the great Italian opera stars from the 20s and 30s. And she's been an inspiration to the woman they call Australia's First Lady of Song, June Bronhill OBE. But as you'll see, Amelita's influence is deeper, stronger. She's become a personal guide perhaps from beyond the grave. It was a voice in many ways similar to mine, a very high coloratura soprano. Um, but naturally, because this was back in the 20s, the 30s, they didn't have the power of recording that one has now. Uh, but it, it, was, um, it, was, it was wonderful, really, then. A coincidence, or something else. Two coloratura sopranos, decades apart. Both thrilled audiences around the world. And both would be inextricably linked throughout June's career. I've always thanked God for my voice. Because I was born with it. It wasn't manufactured. I sang my first song when I was four, and I literally haven't stopped since. She started her career as plain June Goff, a teenager from the wild west of New South Wales. But on the eve of her departure to study overseas, June decided to repay the loyalty of the folks in her hometown. She changed her name to Bronhill, a tribute to the miners and their families from Broken Hill. As June Bronhill in Europe, she first heard the voice and the name Amelita Gallicurci. I was working uh, in London, I'd lived in London then, and I started rehearsing with a, a coach that I had, a wonderful Australian coach called Brian Stanborough. And we started working on, of all things, um, uh, an aria from the Barber of Seville, Una Voce Poco Fa. And he gave me this incredible cadenza at the end, which is very, you know, like a, a flourish of notes. And it went up to an F above top C, which is a very, very high note. And I, 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 I found it effortless, absolutely effortless. And he said, I must tell you, he said, that, that cadenza has only ever been sung once before, and that was by uh, the only person who ever sang it in performance was Amelita Gallicurci. Intrigued. June wanted to know more about Amelita. So much so, she sought the help of a London medium. And in one seance, she finally made contact. When she came through, she said something like, I am here to speak with the young woman, the young singer. And of course, she had a slight foreign accent. She said, um, she is a soprano. She said, I am Amelita. Gallicurci. And I said, you are wanting to talk to me. I'm June, June Bronhill. She said, my dear, I am always with you. If ever you want to be guided or helped, just be on your own and just put the questions to me. You don't have to say them. Just in your mind and you will find that an answer will come. Throughout her career, June has done just that. And she says Amelita's answer has always come through. In recent years, she starred in everything, 
from the sound of music through Gilbert and Sullivan to last year's triumph, how to succeed in business without really trying. But it was during that great success that tragedy struck and threatened to end June's career. Gradually, she was losing her hearing, losing her pitch, losing her way in the musical numbers. More than ever before, June Bronhill needed her mentor, her guide, Amelita Gallicucci. I just stand in the wings and uh, waiting for my entrance for that particular big number that I had to do, the Brotherhood of Man. And I just said, to say, I just said, say, help me, please, Lita, help me. And it just came to me in a flash, and I'm sure she put it there, switch off, switch off. Don't listen to the other voices, don't listen to the, to the orchestra. Just switch off and work it from what is in your mind, which is what I did, and everybody said, my God, you're singing better than ever. Crazy. None of our business. If my son's sitting out in that garden with tears in his eyes, I consider it to be very much my business. Is Alma Robert crying? Just stay out of this, Nona. This is a mother's business. Watch June on stage today, and you'd never know she had problems with her hearing. She's back in the limelight, starring in a play called Straight and Narrow. It was a challenge the diva just couldn't turn down. A decision June certain Amelita would have applauded. talk around this house today from the likes of you. I'll just do this for you. Even though I can't pitch correctly, I can still think things like. And that is Amalicia helping me. I think, oh, how am I going to do it? And I just sort of said, please, Lita, please help me. Mm. 